At 12 o'clock, we get number 7, Kentucky, which is 4-0. Traveling to number 14, Ole Miss, which is 4-0. Ole Miss favorite 6.5 on ESPN. And what is, honestly, one of the coolest matchups of the week? Because, again, two undefeateds going at each other. We actually have a good amount of those this week. And, honestly, this is probably one of the more interesting ones. Uh, Kentucky, you have Will Levis as your quarterback. 79-117 so far this year. Thrown for 1,185 yards, 10 touchdowns to 4 interceptions. Kavasi Smoke on the ground said 51 carry for 263 yards and a touchdown. And Tavian Robinson is at 20 catches for 349 yards and two touchdowns. Jackson Dart for Ole Miss has gone 51 82, thrown for 697 yards, five touchdowns, two interceptions, and is a 62.2% completion percentage. Quinchin Judkins, which great name by the way, uh, has had 70 carries for 200, 429 yards and five touchdowns. And Jonathan Mingo said 12 catches for 257 yards and a touchdown. Uh, Ole Miss leads the series 28-14 all-time. Uh, two-game winning streak for Ole Miss from 2017 to 2020. The last Kentucky victory was in 2011. So, obviously, what I think is really interesting about these games are both teams coming off lackluster performances, right? Kentucky played a close game against Northern Illinois in primetime, and a lot of people watched it, and it wasn't really the greatest example of what Kentucky football can be. On the other hand, Ole Miss played a Tulsa team in prime time again, but it was on uh, SEC Network, so less people watched it, but still a lackluster performance from Ole Miss in a game that was way, way closer than a lot of people thought it was going to be. A Tulsa team that, honestly, is a pretty good American team, but did not expect them to put up that good of a fight against Ole Miss. Had many opportunities, if you're Tulsa, to try and go and tie that game and send it to overtime. Unfortunately, did not end up going your way, but honestly, these are 4 and 0 teams that are lucky to be 4 and 0. Uh, which is weird to say for an Ole Miss team that really Tulsa has been the best team they've played so far. They've really played no one, which just makes me feel like Kentucky at least has played a decent opponent in Florida. I understand I'm a Florida fan and I have a skewed uh, idea of how good Florida is. I don't think they're a top 25 football team, but I think they're a solid enough football team right now that I think it would be hard to say that they're not at least the best team either of these two teams have faced. This is a warm-up for Kentucky. This is this is everything you need, right? Because you're heading into a season where you're going to have to play Tennessee and Georgia in a couple weeks, right? And you're going to need ev your offense clicking on all cylinders. You're going to need your defense clicking on all cylinders, especially when you go and play Georgia. Um, I think this game has a possibility of being a really fascinating football game. I do think Kentucky wins this one on the road. And I think they pull off the upset. 